Today we are sailing along the coast of Senya. It's a beautiful day, it's very sunny, so we're going to stay pretty close to the coast along the way so that we can actually enjoy the epic view of the mountains. Um, Senya is a very dramatic type of island. It's also a very tricky place to sail to because it has all these uh, scaries and these rocks everywhere so you have to almost snake your way around some sections coming out of anchorages and into the fjords. So yeah, today we're just going to take the scenic route. What do you think of this uh, coastal adventure so far? It's absolutely beautiful out here today. Uh, we chose to sail along the outside of Senya just because it's so beautiful. And there's a couple of really cool little island pockets that look a lot like places we've been in the Bahamas. Uh, but the sailing conditions out here are much more tricky. There's big ocean swells coming in and the wind funneling down through the mountains is always tricky to deal with. Uh, so most people don't actually sail on the outside. Most people sail since Senya is an island, a lot of people sail the sort of inside passage between Tromsø and, and Lofoten or south. But I'm glad we came on the outside, especially on these sunny days. It's absolutely magnificent. Well, the next part of the sail into Trumza is a bit of a 90 degree turn followed by another 90 degree turn. And right now the wind is too light um, to make that side. You can actually see in front of us, it's just dead glassy calm. But tomorrow morning, by tomorrow about noon, it's supposed to fill in from behind like 10 to 15 knots, which will be perfect. So we just pulled over and anchored. We'll be here for the night, the night, <laughs> like it gets dark anymore. But. Um, yeah, we're in this little channel. We're only in about four meters under the keel. Nice sandy bottom. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're just gonna hang out here for 12 to 24 hours-ish until the wind fills in from behind. And then we'll be able to finish the last 30 miles or so into Trumza. So it's a beautiful little spot though. There's like this little house on the hill that probably is abandoned. Lots of birds. And um, there's a bit of current here, but the wind is pushing one way and the current's pushing the other. So we're kind of just hovering in the middle. But yeah, time to fire up the wood stove so we can get warm and maybe make some dinner and hang out. There's no cell signal, so we're like nice and off grid here tonight. It's perfect. morning <laughs> good morning um yeah about two hours ago the wind shifted and started to fill in and low tide was about an hour ago so the tide is now shifting in the right direction and we're finishing our coffee and getting ready to get out of here although I didn't promise not to make any current predictions after <laughs> no current predictions after we leave here because you never know <laughs> i can only say what i witnessed this morning personally with my own eyes that 
at low tide <laughs> was actually slack tide, and about an hour after low tide, the current shifted and started to go in. So that's what I observed, and I will make no predictions for what the current will be doing <laughs> 20 miles from now when we have to go through a very, very narrow cut right at high tide. I will not make that prediction. <laughs> we will find out when we get there. Uh, yeah, the boat's still pretty much in sailing condition from yesterday, so all we really need to do is anchor up and roll the headsail out. How's your coffee? Not done yet. What's the rule for what's the rule for lattes on anchor? We make mochas at anchor. That's yeah, we the do. rule. That's the rule. The, like line in the sand rule. Wait, isn't it right? Lighting the sand means it's not really a rule. <laughs> the line of the sand is. It's more like kind of it fades away. Fades away the tide. No, 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 no. This is a this is a carved rock rule. This is the bedrock of the foundation of our relationship. <laughs> is that on anchor? Lattes are made with hot chocolate. Yes. It's this stuff. It's Norwegian hot chocolate. It's mm. the best. It's so sweet. You're yeah. ready to get all bundled up like a plumpy Oompa Loompa. Yeah, yeah. I plumpy have lumpy. like half my layers on already. I need to fluff up because it's going to be cold today. See? Five degrees outside, it says. We're only about 20 minutes, not even 10 minutes away from the narrowest part uh, where we might end up facing some pretty nasty current. It can flow up to six knots through here. And uh, I guess we'll see when we get there. Right now it's still really wide, so we won't really be able to tell if there's current against us. But we've got good wind and it's right at high tide. So in theory, we should be sneaking through with some current with us or slack tide, but uh, I guess we'll find out. If we make it through now, it'll be great because then we'll just drive the spinnaker over and we're only five or eight miles away from Trumza. And if we do hit some pretty nasty current, not enough we can sail against, then we'll have to pull over an anchor and wait a few hours for the current to shift. But we'll see. It's been a, a slow start to a pretty good sail and we're making really good time now. So about 10 more minutes and we'll know if we're gonna be able to make it through here or not. So we're still pushing wing on wing, and um, it looks like right now there's about two knots of current against us, maybe a little bit more. Um, but the current comes out and around, so we're gonna keep on sailing wing on wing into this bit of an eddy around this headland. And then we're gonna jive the main and like shoot out into the current and try to get across it in sort of like one go. Reminds me a lot of whitewater canoeing back in college, but only in a sailboat. It shouldn't be too bad though, we've got a decent amount of wind behind us. And now we want to drive the spinnaker in the middle of this, we can just drive the headsail. And hopefully stay on the least current side. Yeah, you can see it gets kind of choppy up there. We'll probably jive when we get over there, because we're drifting like that way. Yeah. So we'll probably jive and shoot out that way. And then we'll be, we'll be free and clear. Current's flowing west here. So we sailed like up into this sort of anchorage area 
which was eddying current, and then scoot it out and across where there's a little bit less. But still says there's three knots against this. It's probably more like two and a half, but nice. How about <laughs> It's always exciting white water sailing. Look, look at this, look at this. Look at all this bare sleeves. It's like the first proper warm summer day that we've had so far. So we're meeting up with some friends we met at the marina and we're going climbing today. It's really pretty. Almost at the beginning of the climbing wall. <laughs> Whoever thought climbing would take so much work? Just to get there, I'm already tired. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time we went on a hike? Last year. <laughs> Out of breath so fast. Yeah, I think I would just scramble ourselves up. I think that's the trail, actually. All right. How's it going, princess? Oof. <laughs> nice, very good, very happy, not tired. Not tired at all. <sighs> How's it going Chester? You doing alright? Little panty dog. <laughs> Nacho, how hot do you think it is today? 25. Easy. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least. Wow. Everybody's like naked. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think it's the first time since 1995. <laughs> At least. <Yeah. laughs> so, first day of summer in Norway. It's just a yeah. hot wave of two days. Yeah. I'm used to seeing And the best thing to do on a hot day is. <laughs> I can climb and get hotter. Try to use most of your feet and your hands, okay? Your ass to the wall as much as possible. I like how everyone just got really quiet. Nobody's looking at you. <laughs> you look like a professional. She's doing a great job. Is, is that your serious smile? <laughs> How was it? Good. I've never climbed outdoors before, so this is God. my first time. It's <laughs> it's it's very challenging on the hands. I have like scratches already. 
right? Yeah, well, tiny little bit, but it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, it is the hottest day of the year, and on the hottest day of the year, Norwegians go climbing. <laughs> Sit around and complain about how hot it is. <laughs> Is that what's been happening? It's like it's all like, up oh. in here. It's like, oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so, I need to swim. I need ice cream. <laughs> no, but it's a. I feel like it maybe in Norway in general, but I feel like Tromsø is a very Probably popular place to climb. Just go straight up to and the, so people from all over the world just fly here just to go climbing. Are there any Norwegians here today? No, they don't come here. Okay, this is like the touristy climbing spot. <laughs> Fair enough. You did awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you didn't fall. You took breaks, but that's fine. No, I've climbed. So my entire life, I've climbed three times on the indoor gym, and then this is my first time outdoor gym. Out yeah, outdoor yeah. gym. <laughs> the outdoor gym. Do you have enough energy for a high five? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> my fingers are like stuck like this. <laughs> oh, a high man. crawl, a high claw. Yeah. He's <laughs> aiming for that corner so he can sit there. <laughs> okay, I'm done with my creation. It's just necessary for your head, no? Yeah. Just to get yourself. I'm good now. <laughs> Getting a suntan is probably better for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> This was fun. I'm exhausted. My hands are just completely numb and stuck in one position now. You're doing awesome, man. Good job for yeah, your first actually, day. Yeah, actually, I mean, I was I, I impressed myself. I was not expecting to. I did this one, and then I did three quarters of a 6A, I guess. Not bad for first time. I'm so tired now. It's yeah. crazy. I'm ready to go home. But we have to hike all the way down and back to the cars. <laughs> it's gonna be lighter this time. It's less yeah. water, less food. Less water, that's true. I don't know why I'm trying to this down. I cannot do two things at once talk and strip. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, Oof, I'm beat. Did you have fun? I did. I think we're gonna try to do some more climbing while we're here. And you know, in the future as well, because like anywhere in the world you can go climbing. Yep. Yeah. Nice. But I think we're gonna pack everything up, we'll hike down and go home. It was a good day. Cheers to rock climbing. Hells yeah, girl. Cheers to rock climbing.